Well, hello, sunshine. Good morning. It is day seven of our morning devotional. And as you can see, I'm doing a change of scenery today, enjoying the nice outdoors. I've been trying to get outside as much as I possibly can. I bet you guys have been doing the same. I've actually been in my garden a little bit. Y'all can't see it right now, but maybe I'll show you a glimpse of it later. But let's go ahead and get into our devotional today. If you have your prayer journal, go ahead and get that out in your Bible. And let's just open up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for um, your goodness, your graciousness, for your beauty, Father. And I pray that during the season that you just show us your beauty is in all things, Father. Um, and that we just take the time to see it, Father. That we take the time to open up our eyes and see what you're doing around us. And um, just praise you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so day seven. Here we go. Ooh, how perfect for today. I don't look at these beforehand. I hope you guys know that. So every morning, it's a surprise to me, just like it is to you. It's kind of exciting. All right, so day seven, God loves the beauty of you. And remember, we're reading from 100 Things God Loves About You. So you are all together beautiful, my darling. There is no flaw in you. Song of Songs 4-7. The world has the defi this definition of what beauty is, of what it's supposed to look like. Throw it out, toss it in the trash heap. Because a true definition of beauty is only found in the one who created it. So open up God's word and take a look in the mirror of truth. You are a beloved child of the king. Look at your friend, your neighbor. You're not your friend, you're all in self-quarantine. Look at your siblings, right? Or your mom, dad, you, right? You are a child of the king. You are breathtaking, jaw-dropping, heaven and heart stopping, a handcrafted work of art. Don't think you're beautiful. God has something to say about that. My darling, you are all together beautiful. And some of you are like, well, I, I'm, I'm beautiful. That sounds weird, but I, I, what this verse really means is that God loves you the way you are. He thinks that you are perfectly created, that you are wonderful, that you are glorious. He loves the way you are. He loves the way you were created. You were created exactly the way he intended. So trust in that and rejoice and take, take an opportunity as you are in your prayer journal, just writing that and some of the things that, um, that God finds joy in, in you and how he created you, what he loves about you. Go ahead and write some of those things out. Say, thank you, God, for making me like this. Maybe you love to go out and garden. Maybe you love to just be outside and thank God for making him the way that he did because he made you the way he did on purpose. There's no flaw in you, my darling. I love you guys. Hope you tune into our evening devotional Ooh, later today. Love you guys.